Biggie Biggs is recording, and uh, I'm the star of this show. You didn't introduce yourself. Oh, and Smalley's Moms. Oh. The Highway Life, based on a true story. Biggs, we have very different lives, you know. I want you to have this. Biggs, I can't take this. Finish the school, Biggs. Joey, why are you so good to me? Because you're my daddy. I'll always be your daddy. And just like that, Biggs was gone. It's about to go down. Yo, 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 what is good, y'all? Welcome back to the highway life where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me on your bus? Starring the Dreamcatcher. Um, this is basically the final run of this episode. I'm sorry. Right, so this is basically not the final episode, but the, fi the final run at closing out the series. This week, today, I had to address some issues on the bus um, that was holding me back from proceeding. So I did a lot of jumping around while I could, while I waited for folks, uh, while I waited to get things done. I had to fabricate, get the gooseneck diesel issue fabricated. You'll see that. I had to get um, the couch issues fixed. I had to get my toolbox, the legs cut down because it was sitting too high. Um, as I opened the cabinet, it was just up to my nose. Uh, took three to four inches off of that. Um, but I needed to get that done so that I could, um, put the walls and the floor, um, of that base in, um, the video is going to be all over the place, but it'll come together and it'll allow me to continue my build. Um, the series is winding, winding down. I'll be, um, working pretty quickly now. Um, walls going up boards panels finished panels paint um i'm guessing i'm about two months out um i plan on doing videos a lot more um now that i don't have to wait for things to get done um let foggy let's just i'm gonna just jump right in and show you what i've been doing all right guys so here's what we're working with george is out there finishing up the cut this is what we're addressing when I first took apart the bus, um, this entire area, the wood, the insulation, was soaked in diesel. Anytime you have an overspill while you're putting fuel in, it goes down, runs down the gooseneck and along the wall. So what we're doing is addressing that um, ahead of time. So we are building a shield-like box. Um, so any overflow goes straight down into the ground. That's the first part of it. What we're doing now is getting making something to cover the gooseneck and the back to divert it down. And then it's covered with this. This is the final piece, um, which was on the bus originally. So I'll show you. Right, so here's an outside look of it. If we were facing the wall, well, if that was facing the wall, every, let me turn it upside down. Every section there diverts the, the diesel fuel into that pocket and down to the ground. If there's leaks, if there's splash or whatever, it is going straight down. This piece here is the part that covers the gooseneck and where the ring seal is when there is an overflow. But that's what it looks like. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. Um, hit that up with some sort of um, seal. Um, so it helps with the draft, get it in, and then I'll put the hard cover against the wall on top of that. And he's just making that other piece for the back wall where the two by two is. Going back in, fit like a glove, and then we'll just drill that down. Any leakage will go down straight to the pocket, down to the ground, start a forest fire. 
again um, this piece is to deflect the diesel fuel down I know I keep saying that this piece which is the only thing that the bus system had is gonna protect all that and I'm gonna put um, weather stripping underneath it all the way around to help seal the vapors out and any cold air draft coming in these are the weather stripping I'm using for this cover I've already put it on so basically when I drill it down it's gonna give it a nice seal so that I don't get any vapors in it or uh, cold air coming in um, from that compartment and that is that in place with the seal popping out giving it a good seal you won't have to worry about any gas uh, air leakage or fumes this is what it looks like remember the cutout that I did just a slide right back on and we're good to go I'm dusty as hell I just finished sanding this bad boy down um, I cut the boards for it I did take some of the two by fours that I had on the inside I took it out not because it was heavy but more so because I needed the, the room in the storage space so I actually have it nailed, uh, not nailed, screwed here with the two by threes. Um, it's gonna work out fine. And then I'll just build the doors for the cabinets, the storage area. For those that are wondering how heavy it is, I'm gonna show y'all. What are you gonna do when the Hawks do one is wild on you? Psych. It actually is not that heavy. Um, so. Let me uh let me just pump in a few. Bro, I'm trying to do a video, Mr. Train Guy. Woo! See, I got the pex thing going. Woo yeah! Got a little bit of a workout. I put my boards up where my armrest is. Uh first board goes all the way to the top. The second board only goes up to where the seat the bottom seat is. Again, that's so when I put the top piece on and I'm opening and closing, it doesn't rub and damage my um, my finish. That's where it's going in. I did cut that pocket for the gooseneck for the gas tank. It is a good fit. Um, no room to um, slide or anything like that. Um, it will just fit, it already has. I am not gonna place it yet, but I am gonna put the board on. Uh, I need George to fix that first so in case anybody's ever wondering that battery pack since I don't have my um, solo in yet I use a jump box to run my lights <laughs> the length of the sofa couch is 74 inches uh, I did take off about a quarter um, just so that um, it was nice and clean I'm brand new never used given to me for free still in the box uh, I'm gonna have to figure out that cut pour it in so in the fold out bed um, setting that is the other half which would be against the wall that you would sleep on and the other half is the top portion of your backrest so let me put that together I guess I should show you the bottom view yes that's my knee cracking um, I'm not gonna do like drawers I uh, don't think um, I'm probably just gonna do doors um, but plenty of storage I don't have owned much anymore the top portion of that couch um, there's the board there I've already cut it I'm gonna place one on top see what I need to um, trim up and the other board is for the bottom haven't really thought about the back support yet but not a big deal so I want it just so I can see the line of my 2x4 um, on this side here I'm off by I think an eighth or a sixteenth so I'm gonna trim that down um, more for looks and so that it moves easily when it go up and down and then I'll just cut the front end piece out here I wanted to show you um, how easy it is to use this sofa slash bed my version of it um, that board there still needs to go on top but I'm figuring out how I want to do my compartment locks and things um, let's just say you have the cushions on there. You take the cushions off, literally one hand, guys. Very easy and convenient. Um, all you gotta do is put it down. The back support becomes the leg. That does not have a pattern yet because that's my battery bank. Um, so it's gonna have a separate door. 
but I do have it on hinges. Marcus hooked me up with them. They are flush mount. Um, yeah, I mean, look how legit that shit is, right? So I'll be excited to um, get my finish panels up, push this back, uh, fasten it down, put on my seat belts, and get my uh, daddy, my daddy buddy to uh, sew up some cushions for me. So that's what's up. I'm gonna show you how to put it back to normal. I mean, my daughter can do it. It's not heavy at all. One hand, place it back, throw your cushions back, blah, blah, blah. Bam. That, that's me, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's how I roll. Convenience. I'm not trying to put shit together. I'm not trying to slide out things. I'm not trying to blow up. You know what I mean. Cut out the back pocket, and we're gonna move the tray for it. So basically, I relocated the back of this tray, cut out the bottom, moved it forward. You guys have seen my two chests on a few episodes. That's what I was building that platform for. I have, I had to address my two chests being so high before I could proceed. Now that I've gotten um, Donnie's help to cut off the legs, it's mounted. It is now at a kind of like a stomach level. Um, I can proceed with putting the boards, putting the board, putting that board, placing it, and drilling it down. Um, I'm going to need some good sized bolts, screws, or what have you. Um, so when I'm when driving, it doesn't fall out and snap. All right, so why is this two chest so important, right? I've been building it behind the scene and piecing it together and going over plans on how this I'm gonna make this work. So this is actually staying in the bus because, ta-da! This is my kitchen. <laughs> um, no cabinets, whatever needed to be built. I thought about this a couple summers ago, so when you open it, I am gonna have cables so that it doesn't touch the ceiling, and I'll probably put something there to maybe draw the, the wind and everything out. This burner was given to me by Marcus and Laura. Shout out to them. Um, this is not permanent yet. I, don't, I, I put this in here just to see how I'm gonna work it out. This will be my sink area, and the reason why Donnie had to cut it for me was because when I put the drain with the line in, when I, when, when I open it, because I'm drilling it from the top, this needs to clear without pulling all the line and everything out. And we moved it because I wanted to utilize this for whatever, soap, dish, whatever. Um, and this will get a countertop of sort, but more of a cutting board, bamboo style, maybe only about a half inch thick. I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna draw the outline cutting for that. So you guys are like, what the fuck is he talking about? What the fuck is he doing? So this sink here isn't for washing dishes. I mean, I guess you could wash knives and things. Again, I'm gonna cut it out and make a hole, make a drain. Um, I've ordered this um, faucet. It's actually one of the coolest faucets I've ever seen. Not only does it fold all the way down, but it also rotates. Um, so the idea is I'll have the faucet either back there or drilled into there, and I'll collapse it, and then I'll be able to close it, okay? So the, the idea behind it is, I don't have to make any drawers, any cabinets, any nothing. And the best part, it locks. If I go around turns, corners, whatever, nothing's gonna fly open. I was like, man, I'm saving so much money, so much effort, and it, so I think it was 100 pounds, right? But the cast wheels that I took off, weigh about seven or eight pounds each. So right there at the gate, I've taken off about 24, 25 pounds. I mean, they were really, really heavy. Um, the drawers, like I said, lock. So, ah, there's my spoon. Yes, that's an Asian spoon. Yeah, that's what we fall out of. Um, every single drawer locks. I mean, all I have to do is probably put a, put a tray, um, you know, silverware tray and so on and so on and so on. Um, 
the biggest one is this one, which I, oh, I got cleaning supplies. Anyways, the very bottom one, um, I'm gonna have to make doors or sliding or whatever um, all the way around so that it's a hidden compartment. Not hidden compartment, but that's where my pots and pans can go. So I got maybe like a spice rack or cleaning rack, but guess what? I got a towel rack. And in the back, I can run my lines out through the back and back here. So basically, I may do a gravity gravity uh, water system um, holding, you know, four to five gallons of water. And then the excess gray water will go into the back line and into um, a jug, container, whatever, so that I can easily open my side door to dispose of that water. Um, but yeah, that's what that is, guys. Um, stupid or not, my idea, my bus. So, so yeah, everything is progressing along like super fast now that I've gotten all the fabrication stuff done. I'm pretty excited. Um, I know this video was all over the place, and I'm pretty sure you didn't get any uses out of it. Um, but it was more of a walkthrough on what I'm doing and the struggles I've been having, um, trying to multitask and juggle the plans, but also continue to work. Um, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to pick up wood, not wood. I'm going to pick up finished, finished boards so that I can address the walls and pick up some paint, get Joey's ass in here and earn her money that she hit me up for today. Hey dad, hey dad, what's going on? Can I get some money for, for summer clothes? How can I say no, right? That's my girl. It's my only one and only. Anyways, be good. Be good to each other. Your boy Big loves you. I'll see you all on the flip side. Deuces. And thanks for watching.